Well, welcome back, guys. Thank you for your patience. I didn't realize how long the first video had gone, but uh, this one will be considerably shorter to make up for that. I want to look at a couple of different areas that we're going to see played out here. Uh, we'll just do two slides and then we'll call it a day. The first area is going to be how Stalin is going to take really strong and firm control over his people. One of the main things that he does in both slide so this one and then in the, the next one are going to be dealing with this going to be these purges bolsheviks that had been uh, faithful to lenin in days past weren't necessarily going to be on stalin's side even though he was a master um, at getting people to follow him um, there was also going to be this element that I think a lot of people followed him because of fear. And when other people might have spoken up saying that maybe Trotsky or others deserve to be in that position, Stalin would uh, summarily either put them on trial or just have them kill. We're going to be dealing with a lot of that in the next slide. But the main thing that we're going to look at here is these areas that are going to be lacking in faithfulness or at least loyalty to him are going to be purged. Red Army is going to be one of them. Because of Trotsky's power and influence over the Red Army, there were a lot of those former soldiers that had served under Trotsky that now looked at Stalin as somebody that was going to be uh, undeserving of the spot that he was in beginning to speak out. And because of that, they were going to uh, face a very dangerous future. But the other way that he was going to get control of the Soviet Union was going to be through propaganda. You can see him here on the right holding the baby. Um, even today, politicians will uh, try to kiss babies. Maybe you've heard that talked about before as a way of getting people to see them as a more likable figure. These are going to show Stalin as somebody that is kind and is generous, somebody that is going to be working for the good of those living in the Soviet Union, uh, caring about their needs instead of somebody that might be murderous or aggressive. He is going to be shown definitely as the gentler one. Uh, in fact, he had a nickname of Uncle Joe within the Soviet Union. And because of that, I think a lot of people maybe that didn't know any better, this was the only image of him, this guy that was working for their good. This is the only picture of him that they had. Those that were in the inner circle and closer to the government obviously had a much clearer image of who he really was. But for the citizens, this is what they knew. This is what they saw. And because of that, there was a lot of loyalty throughout the Soviet Union. I'd like to talk a little bit more about those trials that we had talked about earlier. As the Bolsheviks are brought up, we're going to see a lot of them now threatened after the right-hand man of Stalin was killed. Even though it seems as we study this topic, you could go and if you really wanted to uh, be able to look into it more, it seems like Stalin probably had a hand in getting this guy killed. That didn't stop him from using this as an opportunity to start pointing the finger at a lot of people throughout the Soviet Union. In 1936 alone, so again, he's been in power about eight years now, uh, there were going to be these different individuals that stepped up and said, I have had a part or a um, effort in a plot to overthrow Stalin. And because of that, you're going to see these guys all being executed without uh, much fanfare. And because of that, this is going to start a whole uh, line of those that had said or spoken out against Stalin, them being thrown either in prison, being sent to Siberia in these work camps, and then for a lot of them, they're just killed. And the crazy thing is, is that those even that had had a pretty a significant role in the revolution, once they are seen as disloyal to Stalin, what he does just to purge them, not only in terms of uh, their lives for some of them, but to purge them even from the memories of those living in the Soviet Union, he would go back and have them erased, literally erased photoshopped, in essence, out of the images of these gatherings of the important Soviet leaders from the early days. Uh, he would have them now um, airbrushed out so that it was like they didn't even exist. Pretty crazy way to demonstrate just how uh, important he felt like loyalty was. Well, we'll come back and we'll talk a little bit more about how things are going to um, operate within the Soviets, um, some of the strengths, and then obviously some of the weaknesses as well. We'll talk about that a little bit more the, during the midpoint of the week. Hopefully you guys have a good afternoon. We'll be talking a little bit about uh, these bulbs and how to use PlayPosit. 
um, but I'll put that together and you guys can see that. Hopefully it's going to work real smooth. You guys have a great afternoon. Take care.